Hey folks, thanks for joining me on Experimental Vaccines News Blitz. This is the Tech Times. Medical experts concerned about whooping cough outbreaks. Vaccine maybe losing potency? Losing potency? Yeah. Or getting people sick? You choose. The infectious rate of whooping cough are three times to five times higher in Elk Grove, a large suburb in Sacramento, California, despite most of the residents choosing to have their children vaccinated. State data reveals only 80 of Elk Grove's 4,500 kindergartners did not receive vaccinations last year. Let's roll down here a little more, and they start to clarify exactly what they're talking about when they mention the 4,500 students. I find it strange that you have to actually decipher the message here to figure it out. Check this out. A record number of 11,000 people living in California contracted pertussis last year. Around 4,500 of these people resided in counties where less than 2% of the kindergarten students did not receive vaccines last year. So instead of saying that 98% of the people involved in this are fully vaccinated, they give you this little run around and stuff. But anyway, let's keep running here. Check this out. California whooping cough outbreak raises vaccine concerns. Elk Grove had a whooping cough infectious rate three to five times higher than other places in Sacramento County last year, even though only 80 of the suburbs 4,500 kindergartners opted out of vaccinations. Let's keep running here. Got this over here on UT San Diego. California whooping cough outbreak reveals limitation of vaccine. Let's roll down here. You're going to find this uh, funny. One of the guys from the CDC is making some statements here. Let's check this out. It's not correct to only pin the pertussis outbreak on the people who are unvaccinated. Mark Sawyer, a professor of pediatrics at the University of California, San Diego, and a member of the United States Center for Disease Creation and Proliferation's Immunization Practice Committee, told the Bee. The effectiveness of the vaccine is a huge part of this. People who are immunized do still get pertussis. Durr. <laughs> 98% of them in this case, huh? Let's keep going. I got this over on the Daily Science Journal. Whooping cough outbreak in Elk Grove indicates ineffectiveness of vaccine. See, this is the one word I've been using a lot, ineffectiveness. You see, the vaccines, they skip your innate immune system, and the antibodies that are creative are just that, ineffective. Let's roll down here and get one more statement from Mark Sawyer. He says right here, however, Sawyer also added, people shouldn't avoid this vaccine for any reason. <laughs> so you know the agenda, folks. They just want you to take the take the inoculation so you get sick. If you want to find out more about all this, come over here to Experimental Vaccines. I got the pertussis whooping cough inserts are all right here. If you come to this page right here and hit the pertussis whooping cough, you'll end up on this page. All of them are right there. You can download them and check them out yourself. And then I have some videos underneath that show all the other outbreaks involve vaccinated people. So... Spread the word. If you like the videos, folks, uh, check them all out right there on YouTube. And if you like the website, hit the donate button on your way out. I appreciate it.